everyone, I am Kodas Singh and today we will learn about view models. It is one of the components in Android Jetpack and uh, what, what are the use of view model? So a basic use of view model is saving the state. So if, if, let's suppose instance you rotate your phone and all the content, all the content you made just now on your screen, it's completely lost. So just uh, to handle uh, the view so there's one more uh, architecture which is a model view model architecture in which we store, uh, store a view into this uh, view model file main view model file and it uh, it extends a view model so from from the first video uh, as i told you we won't be using main view model but in this video we will be using main view main view model and uh, for for if you want to check from where these all these files came please refer to the link which will come over here and it will direct you to the my first video the information icon so let's start let's start by creating the ui i'll first code down the code down everything and fast forward it and then i'll explain you So guys, as you can see, I have first created uh, uh, a UI fragment in fragment second. I've created the UI using, I've changed the um, fragment layout to constraint layout. And then I went to design and I dragged a text view with ID text view and, and a button, an add button uh, for an ID button six. So whenever I click on the add button, uh, it will increment the counter one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And uh, now I went back and just created a into my main view model. I I created just a variable counter variable to store the value in it. Now uh, uh, first of all I created a on view created uh, method in which we do everything. And then I create created a public variable like public to this file only uh, like access, access, uh, accessible in this file anywhere. Uh, view model uh, of a main view model type. And then I initialize the view model. Then I updated the UI so that it will set the counter to zero. And then on the button six, I I, I got the value from uh, from the view model, and then I incremented by one, and then updated the UI. So let's let's run our app. Let's hope it uh, it works. Yeah. So finally, it is running. Let's go to second fragment. Add, 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 add. Let's rotate the screen. As you can see, the five is still there. It is not becoming zero or counter as specified in the UI. It keeps on rotating, but the value is completely same, nine, 10, 11. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe and like. It really motivates me to make new videos and welcome a new subscribers to the channel. And uh, it's just a, it's, um, this thing is a very very small example. You can you can store the whole list of users or whole uh, whole list of anything which you create on the UI so that you you don't uh, your user doesn't lost it lose it lose it uh, when he rotates its screen. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Uh, in next video we will be talking about paging library. It is very useful 
and uh, it is a higher like it is less resources in schemaka 